Good morning, everyone. Oh, man. We're in Madison Head, Alberta. Just woke up. Just got my clothes on. I'm going to go outside, do the walk around on the truck, make sure that nothing's going to fall off. If everything's good and attached and ready to go, we're going to make our way down to Lethbridge, Alberta, where our first delivery is. And then we got to go up to Killam, Alberta, which is north of here. And then I'll go up to Vegreville, which is north of there. I'm not sure if I'm going to get all of them done today. I'm going to try. But business hours are only so long, and the road is also so long. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We make new videos all the time. You can go to my playlists on my page. You can find all my past videos. There's almost 3,000 of them. And I have them all organized into years, going all the way back to 2014 and beyond and earlier. So if you want to, go check that out. But enjoy the video. Let's get going. Let's get going, shall we? That little black mark on the window in front of you there, just off to your left, that's a mark on my windshield, probably from a rock that got thrown up. It's not a chip, well, small chip. I'll have to take a look at it, I've seen it there. It's not on the camera, it's, uh, it's on the windshield. I know. Let's get rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Here we go, let's just double check. The trailer is attached, fantastic, I love that. I've never lost a trailer yet, knock on wood.
This is Hannah, Alberta. Big gravel parking lot, room for about 100 trucks. No flying J out in the middle of the country. All just prairies surrounding us everywhere, every direction. You can see in the mirror there as well, behind us too. Everything's still nice and tight. So I'm gonna go another about an hour and 15 minutes or so up the road. My next delivery's in Killam, Alberta. K-I-L-L-A-M. And I'm not gonna make it there today. That's why I'm sort of taking my time now. I was gonna get there at 5.30 and I called them. I said, hey, would you mind, uh, do you want to stick around and unload me today yet? Couldn't convince them. So my superior persuasion skills uh, need some maintenance. They need, they need to, <laughs> I need to work on it a bit, I guess. Whatever, they want to go home, I get it. I'm not going to sit there and try and push it. I just ask nicely, that's what I mean. When I say superior persuasion skills, I just ask nicely. And uh, the answer is no, the answer is no. And the answer was no. So we're going to wait till tomorrow morning and unload at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then we got to run up to Vegreville, which is a little bit north of there yet. Unload this mower that I have chained down right here and then the trailer will be empty and then I'm headed up to uh, Niskew which is south of Edmonton I have one piece to pick up there that I'm gonna put up here on my step at the front of my trailer and from there we head into Saskatchewan I forget the town name that we're going to but we're picking up like a giant 40-foot culvert it's gonna go on the bottom here but I'll be able to unload them both uh, this week yet and then I'll head home for a couple days so it was a nice trip out here to Alberta. The weather is beautiful today. 26 Celsius outside, so I'm guessing that's got to be what? 70s? 70 Fahrenheit? Somewhere in there? It's not hot. It's the perfect temperature. It's not too hot. It's not too cool. It's just perfect. i am got to be careful because I'm starting to tan, and my farmer tan is already starting. I always wear short sleeve shirts, and then my arms end up, like, I get really brown in the sun. My skin goes really brown. I only burn once. And after that, my skin just protects me from the sun. I turn into like a whole different person. So I gotta be careful with my hands too, because I wear gloves while I'm working. And if I do that too much in the sun, I have permanent white gloves. You can already see a little bit. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. A little bit of a tan line there. My hand stays like completely white, pasty white, and my arms all brown. So I gotta be careful I don't get myself uh, white gloves through the summer. <clears throat> now we'll unload and kill them. Uh, we should be in Saskatchewan ready to load the following day. So tomorrow we'll get this first one on, head to Saskatchewan, and then we'll pick up the, the next part the next day and then deliver them the next day after that. And that should fill up my week just fine. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. Got a lot of bugs on my windshield. You know what, that's okay. That's a good sign. There's no bugs in wintertime. We're seeing bugs, you know what that means. Washer fluid. I think I've got winter stuff in there still. It's not gonna eat at the bugs as well.
crazy news. Crazy news. I got unloaded today in Killam, Alberta. I got there an hour after they closed and I didn't even go to their yard because I called in. They said, oh, we'll be gone at 5, 5.30 and I got there at 6.30. I was like, okay, so I just parked nearby at a little truck parking area, like down the street, not even near their yard. Well, their guy who unloads, his name was Mark, their guy who unloads the trucks there was on his way home in the company truck. And I see him coming up. It's this like uh, company pickup truck, right? And I'm like, oh yeah, well, I guess we'll uh, unload in the morning, right? That's what I was thinking. I was, wasn't thinking anything of it. And so he turns towards me. I was like, oh, maybe he's going to come say hi. We're going to arrange what time I should be there in the morning. I was like, oh, that's kind of nice of him. You know, we can figure out when we can get started on everything. He comes up to my, my window and he's like, hey, is that stuff for us? I'm like, yeah, well, most of it's for you. Yeah, it's going to unload it first. So I was going to bring it to you in the morning. How'd you like to unload it right now? What? So it was an hour after they closed down their business already. And he just saw me parked in a parking area, sort of like this. This isn't Killam anymore. Uh, I think this is Viking, Alberta. But, uh, and he just randomly came over to me. He's like, hey, you want to be unloaded today instead? So he unloaded me after hours, just because. He's a nice guy. So thanks, Mark. You're probably not watching this, but if in the off chance that you are, uh, I really appreciate that. That was awesome. So he got his stuff off of here. Now I just got this mower for Vegreville. And that's down the road. I'm staying here in, I believe this town's called Viking. I'd, I'd, I'd have to confirm that. But I found this little truck stop here. And I couldn't find any parking on Google Earth anywhere near Vegreville. I mean, there probably is some, but I didn't want to, you know, risk going all the way there and then not having somewhere to park. But yeah, so that never happens. Never. Oh, hey, you want to be unloaded today? Like an hour after we close? I was on my way home to be with my family, but hey, you're here. I'm here. Why don't we just get you unloaded now so you can get on your way? Mark said that he used to be a truck driver himself, and that's why he came and talked to me and decided that he would go above and beyond to get me unloaded today. Because he's been there, he's done that, and he knew he knows how it is for us truckers and that we'd like to get down the road. And, boy, I really appreciated that. So that was my story, that there are still kind people out there. I didn't even ask. I just felt like being nice. I mean, we are in Alberta. We are in Alberta. It's my favorite place for a reason. This is where I'm gonna to sleep tonight. Got my truck, got one more on there. And now that we're unloaded, uh, I don't have that big of a rush tomorrow. I will be rushing because I want to get home, obviously. And I'm the only one here, but there's lots of other parking spots. So I'm sure it'll fill up yet. Beautiful day out. It's been 26 Celsius all day. I told you this already, right? Like 70 Fahrenheit. I'm out here in a t-shirt. This is actually my first time this season outside without a jacket or a sweater on. Just a t-shirt. And I'm already working on my tan. So that was a happy end of the day. Stuff like that is so rare where people just out, go out of their way for no reason. He could have kept driving. He could have just drove right past me, gone home, had supper, gone to bed, unloaded me in the morning. Who does that, right? Albertans. <laughs> Canadians, I should say Canadians. We're, we're supposed to be known for our politeness and our kindness, right? I don't know where that came from, because I know I, I know there's a lot of rude Canadians out there. I meet them all the time on the road. They are very uh, efficient at uh, giving you signs that lets you know that they are very unimpressed with your existence when they feel that you are in their way. But there are a lot of good ones out there too. And Mark, he was one of them. So, I'm happy. One step ahead for tomorrow. Now I just have to go unload that mower, grab that one piece, and head into Saskatchewan, and then the next day we load. So it'll be a much easier day tomorrow, and I'll get home like, oh, probably like, well, probably four to five hours earlier at the end of this trip. Right on. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I uh, hope that put you in a good mood, too. It's uh, nice to hear some good news every now and then and not just hear all the bad. So there are good people out there, and you know what, I'm going to try to be one of them too, and I encourage you, you know, be one of those good people out there. Do something kind for someone that they're just not expecting. It's not that hard 
Because people are never expecting kindness. How, are you ever expecting someone you don't know to be kind to you and be nice to you? I know I'm not. It just doesn't happen. So when it does happen, it's super special. Consider maybe doing that for someone in uh, your own life in the next few days if you, if you can, if you have the ability to. It really spreads happiness. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below to help with all the algorithms. It's the best thing you can do uh, to help me out. And we'll see you later.